Hello everybody, today we're gonna to install an open VPN, a private VPN for you in your own cloud instance in Google Cloud. So first of all go to your Google Cloud um, console and make sure that you're going to go uh, Compute Engine's VM instance. And yeah, let's create a new instance and this instance is gonna be a really small instance which costs around five or ten dollar per month uh, so my instance i will name it like uh, google google vbn uh, sorry vbn and yeah i'm gonna to choose uh, the small one uh, g1 small is enough for that purpose and i prefer to work with opento so i'm gonna to change this to opento choose the latest release of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20 and yeah select it and yeah I'll just allow the HTTPS because we're gonna to use the port 443 to be able to access the VPN create the instance and yeah once your instance is ready we're gonna to install the open VPN and there is a really good uh, repo in github which allow us to install open uh, vpn in just uh, one minute so this is the repo i used to use it before and i'm going to show you how to use it in your own instance so just copy this um, uh, the, uh, the https clone uh, uh, url and yeah go back to your instance get an ssh access uh, in your browser you don't have to access it via ssh from your host it's, it's it's really easy to open it from the browser so but it for first time it take a while so maybe we're gonna to pause the, uh, the video and uh, continue after that so let's see but now and it uh, it accessed me using my email so i'm gonna to get an root access so the dash s to get a root access and we can do get app to get uh, update and app to get install that's why uh, get and let's clone the rebo get clone the open ssh repo yes and ls you can see that there is a directory with the open vpn install cd open vpn install ls and yeah this is uh, the script we have to use so we need to add uh, execution permissions for this script so change mode uh, plus x open ssh and after that everything is ready to go so open ssh and yeah it's straightforward it's going to ask you straightforward questions the first question is asking about the ip to grab the ip of your public machine just to go back to your uh, dashboard and yeah you can see that there is external ip just copy it we're gonna to use the external ip as an ip address of our machine Control shift v and yeah uh, we don't have to use IBV version 6 so no uh, it asked you about the port I prefer to use the 443 port with TCP protocol because most of uh, yeah my country is blocking the OpenVPN but they don't have ability to block the uh, 443 port because every single website using this so we are gonna to use this trick to bypass restrictions OpenVPN if you have these restrictions in your country so we are gonna to choose a customized port and the customized board is going to be 443 and we're going to use the tcp protocol and yeah everything uh, everything is okay right now it's asking about the dns resolver we can go with adguard yeah the default one is okay uh, the default uh, customized encryption setting no uh, yes and yeah that's it it's going to install everything for us It asked about the client name. Uh, this is the name of your 
client uh, I'm gonna to rename it with my name slam VPN something like that <coughs> and yeah it asked about password no we don't have to provide a password to provide less yeah and it's it's done for you and it told you that the, the credential is here for this client and if you want to um, to do anything also with this script you have to <coughs> If you want to create another client for your friend or another client for your Android phone or something else, you 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 basically have ability to rerun the same script again, and it asked you uh, to add new user, uh, revo existing users, or remove OpenVPN or Exist. So um, if you need to add another user, you just uh, rerun this script, and it's going to ask you about the client name, and that's it. So for now, this is my configuration and I have to take it to my host machine to be able to connect my to my uh, VPN and everything is done right now for this instance. The next step is uh, copying this configuration to your uh, host machine. You have a lot of uh, options right now. You can uh, copy paste it directly or you can just uh, um, SSH to your machine and uh, uh, copy this file from the host machine to your uh, from this machine to your host machine i prefer to go with the simple solutions just to cut it uh, yeah home uh, yes um, just to cut it and the copy paste this to your uh, machine uh, so i'm gonna to copy it and yeah uh, return back to your host machine so this is the terminal of my host machine get a root access and you have to this is uh, uh, client configuration so you can basically go to any directory I prefer to put it inside download VPN Google VPN yeah and I'm gonna to create Google VPN dot open VPN control shift V control D and yeah that's it Google Google VPN yeah this is the configuration and everything is clear so what else uh, we have to run it right now I prefer to run it inside Tmax but you can run it in anything yeah open VPN dash dash config and you pass your configuration file right here if you don't have the open VPN in your machine I just to get up up get install dash yes all dash y open vpn and you are ready to go and after the installation you're gonna to get uh, open vpn command dash dash config and the configuration file it's uh, google vpn yeah it's gonna to uh, initialize a connection to your vpn and it's successful complete so everything is is ready to go right now but actually if you trying to ping or, or access the internet you will get stuck uh, i don't know why but actually this is only happened with me when i used to install the openvpn using this script inside a google instance and after a while i figured out you have to run two comments after that to your uh, in your uh, google cloud instance so basically i cloned the, this repo opt code github open vpn get status yeah get dev yeah i uh, what yeah no this is not normal install get dev yeah this is the command you have to run i will put it in the description project v yeah, I lose the connection, so I have to terminate Control C to terminate the VPN to get an access uh, uh, and Control Echo. Yes, this is the first command, and the second command is systemctl-p. And yeah, that's it. And so return back and connect it to the VPN. And now, just try to do the same thing. And yeah, you have ability to access your VPN. It's by the VPN, it's your VPN, so you can do whatever you want to do. Even if your country is restricted the connection of VPN, you can, with TCP443, you can bypass these restrictions. 
and yeah uh, if you wanted to make sure that you access your vpn so let's say that external ip is 345 and it's a 150 and yeah if you go to ifconfig.co which show you your uh, own uh, address so it's your ip address is the same as the instance address so basically you are browsing the internet through your vpn so yeah and yeah, you do whatever you want to do throughout your vpn and yeah let's see you in the next tutorial see you bye